Hey guys, in this video I will show you how to implement SLF4J in Java and I will be also showing you how to implement it with annotations too. So first what we'll do is let's create a new project. Let's name it logger SLF4J. I'll be using the Gradle build tool and JDK 11 but you may use your own maybe Maven IntelliJ and JDK 8, 11, 13, 18, whatever it's fine. Anything above 8 plus is okay. So let's create it. New window. Okay, so IntelliJ has set up the basic project for us. Now, we'll be adding two dependencies to implement SLF4J. Now, these are the two dependencies, the SLF4J API and SLF4J Simple. You can find the latest ones on Maven. Let's just refresh our build. Now in the Java in main, you can create a new Java class. Let's call it main and add a main method in it. PSVM enter the main method would be come directly. Now we will create an instance of the logger first. So in the main class, click on enter. We will create a class variable. Let's call it private static. Logger is the class name. Let's call it logger is equals to logger factory dot get logger. The class name that is the main dot class. Now the logger factory should have been import. You can directly hover on it and click on import like this. These two imports will be used by SLF4J, the logger and the logger factory. Now as an example, you can just Type in logger.info in full level log. You can also type in maybe logger.error. Error level log. Now let's run this file. And as you can see your uh, info level log and error level log are coming in. Now this much is the basic of for SLF4J to implement it. One more thing is in coding techniques what we do is reduce the code and writing this much is a lot of work. To simplify it we can just implement an annotation with which we can implement this entire line with just a single annotation. Now to implement the annotations for SLF4J will be importing not importing but adding a new dependency called lombok now lombok is a lot of now lombok is a tool with which we can implement a lot of various different annotations to reduce our code to a great extent These two are the dependencies that we will be using the implementation and the annotation processor. Refresh Gradle, go to the main method and type in at the rate SLF4J. Now, when we have implemented this, we don't need this line, we can just remove it and put in log.info and log.error or any type of log that you would be using. Now, if you are using IntelliJ, one setting that you need to do is go to settings, build execution deployment in the compiler, go to annotations processor and, and enable annotation processing. Click on OK and let's run this. So as you can see, the same thing is done, but we have reduced our code and here we don't even need these two imports. We can remove them too. So as you can see here, it's working with a lot less code. So you can implement this in both ways, whatever you feel is fine. But obviously using the annotation method is more preferable to reduce the length of the code. 
so that's it if you like this video then give a thumbs up subscribe to my channel if you face any problem while executing or implementing it definitely write in the comments i will definitely try to help you thank you